Top 10 Tuesdays are back. Stay tuned. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the first Top 10 Tuesday of Top 10 Tuesdays where every month, every July, every year in July, every Tuesday in July is Top 10 Tuesday. So, let's kick this off. And this week it is my Top 10 uh, MC mo MCU movies. Now this is my personal opinion alone, none of you have to agree with it. So... Let's get it going. Number 10 is Iron Man 3. Not the best uh, one in the Iron Man series, but still I enjoyed it when I went to see it, so... But I just thought... Mm, gotta start somewhere, so that's what's kicked it off at number 10, Iron Man 3. In at number 9 is Ant-Man. Now, I found, you know, it wasn't easy putting Ant-Man that far up, but there are some uh, MCU movies that I think are a bit better than this one, but yeah, someone's got to be at number 9, so I put Ant-Man at number 9. It's a great film though, so let's get on to the next number. Number 8 is Doctor Strange. With Benedict Kubach making his MCU debut as the title character, Doctor Stephen Strange. I thought this was good. I like the whole uh, mid credit scene with Thor in it. And, that, and I thought, you know, Doctor Strange. About time he got the big screen treatment. Number seven, it is Thor, the first film. Um, now, I like the whole post credit scene on Iron Man 2, where they found Neandal. Is, is that what the hammer's called? Am I pronouncing that right? But yeah, he's like the God of Thunder, you know? And I, I thought this was a great entry in the MCU. But, you know, Thor is probably the, least, probably the most underrated uh, franchise in the MCU. So, how about we get to our next one, eh? is Iron Man, where it all started in the MCU. I thought this is the best one out of the three Iron Mans, but yeah, and he's now like a supporting character really for other Marvel movies in the MCU. But yeah, I just wanted to put that one in there, because you know, it was the first one in the whole universe. Now, down to our top five. Number 5, it is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. I thought this was a good sequel. I enjoyed it and that soundtrack not as good, but still a great film. Coming in at number 4, we got Captain America Civil War. This to me was technically the Avengers 3.5. 2.5. You know why I'm going with it and that. You know, it was kicked off phase 3, which we're currently in now the MCU. And yeah, Iron Man and Captain America to me had a great big Gary and Robbie fallout. Next! Coming in at number 3, we have Avengers Age of Ultron. The sequel to the 2012 Avengers Assemble, and I thought this was a great sequel. 
I love the, the bad guy Ultron and that. I love Paul uh, Bettany making his big debut in the MCU as uh, the Vision, because he voiced Jarvis throughout the rest of all these films, but now he has a physical character. Anyway, let's get to the next one. Coming in at number two is Guardians of the Galaxy, the first film. Love that to death. You know, I can watch that and never get bored of watching it. Great film, great story, great characters, great soundtrack. Before I get to my number one pick, I just want to throw in some honourable mentions to some MCU movies that didn't quite make this top ten, and they are The Incredible Hulk, Iron Man 2, Captain America the First Avenger, Thor The Dark World, Captain America The Winter Soldier. Okay, now, for a big moment. Number one, of course, is Avengers Assemble. How it concluded phase one of the MCU, and for me, it is my favourite all-time superhero movie. Just all the greatest Marvel heroes together, fighting it out in New York and that against the whole bad guys. So for that reason, I am putting Avengers Assemble at number one. So that has been my top 10 MCU movies. Um, so yeah, what are your favorites? You know, put your top 10 down in the comments. Let's see what you got to say. Um, and if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and all my social media links are down below in the description, Facebook and Twitter. And yeah, uh, is there anything more uh, to add? Um, apart from that, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And hit that notification bell. And I'll be back next Tuesday with another top 10 video. So until then, I bid you all a goodbye friends, goodbye.